friends, I hope you can hear me. I came down to see all the, uh, the children and families, the different type of costumes and outfits today. And you gotta admit that some of the stuff is just adorable, you know what I mean? I mean, seriously. And uh, they say that Halloween is a uh, satanic pagan holiday. And it probably most likely is, but you know, um, a lot of part of my growing up is, you know, being able to explore a different character uh, and, and be a different person for a certain time of year. And sometimes that, you know, so, you know, it is kind of a native becomes a positive. I think it's intent in your heart and the things that you do and make a difference. You know, if your intent is to be a good person and, you know, not necessarily do nothing wrong or evil, you know, it's the intent that our God and, and the Lord and the angels, everyone of that judged the intent. What was your intent? And, uh, but anyway, so I don't want to go on about that because I just don't even want to go there because there's so much arguments and this and that, right? That, uh, but anyway, so you know, let's look at this from a human perspective. You know, you get to, uh, children get to be that princess, you know, that they never want to be like these girls or they, the guy gets to be that hero. You know, and that can be a drive, you know, I get to be that for a day, you know, and, and enjoy it, you know, and they get to be them, be somebody different, you know, and sometimes, um, which is interesting is people, um, put down the guard and their true masks come out, you know, we, their true inner being comes out sometimes on Halloween. Isn't that amazing when you think about it? Sometimes they, they'll act that part of something that's a sort of true character of who they want to be and stuff. But the society you're programmed, you have to be a certain person, certain thing like this. And we all wear masks, whether, you know, whether you believe it or not. You know, there's even a, from the Phantom of the Opera, the masquerade, masquerade, paper faces on parade, masquerade. You know, so we made that song that everybody in our society, you know, they put on masks, you, you, you're conforming to a certain way, certain behavior. Oh, there's even a, a kid with a kiss that's taking them, Mario Brothers, but anyway. We got a police officer. She's gonna be a police officer. Anyway, um, so anyway, um, so what I was getting at is that, you know, it's um, if we just be who we are and, and not always have to try to, you know, have a certain per, uh, persona or trying to be a certain person and projecting ourselves onto others, it will be such a great place. You know what I mean? And uh, but you know. It is amazing because, you know, even myself, when I'm working with people in the streets or uh, dealing with different people trying to work for the glory of God, that I will have to change, you know, you know, not who I am inside, but change the way that I behave, the word choices I use, or things like that. Because you have to, you have to mold yourself to that target audience, right? You know, you have to mold yourself to that target audience to get the communication across to develop that trust right so you know and so anyway it's not to go on about that so um, so what masks are we all wearing you know now even your name is nothing but a name to you it's just a name that they've given me. it's a it's a mask of who you really are you remove all those things and who are you a true being aside right and uh, there's so much more I want to talk about this mask thing I just I'm just trying to enjoy the moment and get in there so anyway um, yeah, so many people wear masks, you know, and then the problem is, in the, what's really sad is sometimes when they have the reverse mask, they have the mask of a fakeness or beauty, and then you just got a shark and evil person underneath. That's the mask I don't like, is when you come out the other way, right? Be the same as you are inside as outside, right? And remember, in the skin is only skin deep, right? So, you know, your whole being is, is the whole thing and all that, right? Anyway, all right, I've got a little penguin, and penguins are my favorite. <laughs> I know you couldn't see it because I didn't want to swing around. You start filming people, especially in this day and era with children, you can be a nightmare about 10 seconds to be escorted by security or some adult thing. That's the problem with our society. People are so darn, uh, it's such a weird world we live in. All right, God bless some of y'all.